Well, despite the strong gains this month, many smart investors are more than a little perplexed. Stocks are up, but so are bonds. And it's not just because the Federal Reserve is buying them. So what's going on? Dominic Chu explains why this market has so many in a land of confusion. The bulls and the bears are both sitting around scratching their heads. They're trying to figure out what to do in the current land of confusion. The bad news bears say that there's no reason for things to be as good as some would believe. If so, why are investors flooding into the safety of treasury bonds? And there's no reason to be bullish on the economy. Some of the data coming out has been pretty much mixed at best. Then, if you're on the bull side of the equation, you're also puzzled by what's happening. After all, the S&P 500, it has at record highs. The Nasdaq is around 13 and a half year highs. And stock market volatility is the lowest it's been in over a year. That should mean that things are basically good. We've got a market that everyone just loves to hate. That's the real read. But no matter what your position, next week could either lead to more clarity or more calamity in the markets. That's because there's a slew of economic data coming out, including manufacturing data and services data, and of course, the big monthly jobs report. And of course, a big interest rate decision coming from the European Central Bank, the ECB. So, buckle your seatbelts. Things could get very interesting next week for the overall market. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.